What you need to know about testosterone replacement therapy with the Aved injection. Hypogonadism in men is a clinical syndrome that results from the failure of the testis to produce physiologic levels of testosterone and a normal number of sperm due to the disruption of one or more levels of the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis. There are a number of symptoms associated with male hypogonadism or low testosterone, a depressed mood, loss of energy and fatigue, as well as osteoporosis, erectile dysfunction, and low sexual desire. Trying to decide if testosterone replacement therapy is right for you is an important conversation for you to have with your doctor. The decision to treat a low testosterone is based upon several variables, age, type and severity of symptoms, the cost of medication, whether or not you are considering having children or done with your family, as well as a risk for heart attack and stroke. But there are a number of advantages of testosterone replacement therapy for symptomatic patients. Testosterone may improve libido, erections, and energy level. It can help patients lose body fat and increase muscular mass. It can help prevent osteoporosis, help with anemia, improve memory, and decrease cardiovascular risk. But replacement therapy does come with risk as well. It may worsen anemia, worsen sleep apnea, cause polycythemia, potentially worsen lower urinary tract symptoms associated with BPH. It could worsen prostate cancer or breast cancer, change thyroid and lipid profiles, and cause local skin reactions when used topically. Some studies say that it could cause a higher risk of heart attack and stroke. There are a number of different types of testosterone replacement therapy to consider. There are topical gels, intranasal gels, buckle treatment, implantable pellets, and intramuscular injections. Oral agents aren't used because of the risk of liver dysfunction and disease. There are advantages and disadvantages of topical therapy. The advantages include no use of needles, quick acting, self-application, convenient, and these therapies travel very well. There are some disadvantages. Patients may experience variable absorption. The topical therapies can cause rash or itching. You have to be careful not to transfer the gel to another person. You have to use these therapies daily to achieve good results. Sometimes they're messy and they may not be covered well by insurance and could be expensive. Another option to consider are implantable pellet therapies. The advantages of implantable pellets include a long duration of activity, reliable levels, no daily application, and no risk of transference. Virtually, you get the pellet placed, and then you can forget about it. The disadvantages are that the pellets are placed at a doctor's office and during a small surgical procedure. The site can get infected, although that rarely happens, and sometimes pellets can extrude and come out. Injection therapy is another option to consider for testosterone replacement. The advantages are that the injection lasts anywhere from two weeks to 10. Reliable levels once dosing is titrated and there is no risk of transference. The disadvantages are that you will need to use a needle. You may have an allergic or anaphylactic reaction to the injection. The injection is short acting and sometimes can cause relatively quick mood swings. The long acting injection, you must be watched in a medical environment for pulmonary oil microembolism for at least 30 minutes. Let's talk about a VED. Your physician may either buy a VED and bill it directly to your health plan or order it through a specialty pharmacy. Then the pharmacy will contact you to get your payment, bill your health plan, and deliver the medicine to your doctor's office prior to your appointment. If your doctor uses a specialty pharmacy, you should expect to get a phone call from that pharmacy prior to every injection. When you go to your doctor's office to get your Aved injection, this is what you can expect. Your doctor will inject a VED into the muscle of your buttock. The receiving the injection is very quick, 60 to 90 seconds, but you do need to remain at the doctor's office for at least 30 minutes in case you experience any serious injection-related side effects. It will then be necessary to return to the doctor's office for regular injections. You will get an injection when you start, another injection four weeks later, and then an injection every 10 weeks. A VED does have some risk. A serious lung problem can be caused by a VED called pulmonary oil microembolism. 
Pulmonary oil microembolism is caused by tiny droplets of oil that have traveled to the lung. Symptoms of this reaction can include a cough or urge to cough, difficulty breathing, sweating, tightening of your throat, chest pain, dizziness, or fainting. For this reason, you must stay at your doctor's office for 30 minutes to be observed for this reaction. Avid can also cause a serious allergic reaction right after receiving the injection. Some of these allergic reactions can be life-threatening. These reactions can happen after you receive your first dose or it could happen after receiving more than one dose. You may need emergency treatment in a hospital, especially if these symptoms get worse over the 24 hours after your Avid injection. These side effects can happen during or right after each injection. To make sure that you are not having one of these reactions, you need to stay in your doctor's office, clinic, or hospital for 30 minutes to be observed. And for that reason, you can only get a VED at your doctor's office, clinic, or hospital. Remember, testosterone should not be used in patients with breast cancer or prostate cancer, should not be used in patients with severe edema, and needs to be used with caution in patients with obstructive sleep apnea. Testosterone should not be used in women who are or may become pregnant or are breastfeeding. Patients with recent heart attack or stroke need to strongly consider testosterone risks before starting therapy. Your doctor will discuss with you the FDA statement on testosterone. Testosterone therapy should only be used for men with low testosterone levels and confirmed by laboratory tests. Healthcare professionals need to make patients aware of the possibility of an increased cardiovascular risk when starting this medication. Talk to your doctor about this therapy and if it's right for you. Alternatives to testosterone replacement therapy include having no treatment at all or taking oral or injection medications to stimulate the pituitary to make luteinizing hormone. Follow-up with testosterone replacement therapy include checking labs at least twice a year, testosterone, PSA, blood count, and lipids, and we follow your clinical response to see, do you feel better? Is your sex drive better? Are your erections better? Please call your doctor if you develop a rash or experiencing itching, if you have breast swelling or tenderness, if you develop any worsening edema or swelling in the legs, if you have shortness of breath or coughing spells, worsening sleep apnea, feelings of aggressiveness or mood swings, or chest pain, trouble breathing, or weakness, call 911 or call your doctor. We will assist in coordinating your Avid injection. This procedure will occur in your doctor's office and you'll be contacted with the date and instructions of where and when to report. The procedure itself is very quick, lasting only five minutes. You need to arrive 30 minutes before your procedure and remember, you will need to stay an additional 30 minutes for observation. You will go home the same day, and you do not need to have anyone accompany you or stay with you. The prior authorization process is essential. We will communicate with your insurance to determine your coverage and if co-payments or deductibles are owed. We'll provide you with an estimate of any charges that you may incur. All charges are due prior to the procedure, and payment plans are available. There's no special preparation for this injection. Please bring a list of your current medications with you, and when you receive an Avid ejection, remember, you will need to stay after the procedure to be observed for 30 minutes. We do hope that your treatment goes well, and we sincerely appreciate your feedback regarding your procedure, as we are always trying to improve the care that we provide to our patients. Should you have any questions regarding your procedure or recovery, please contact your doctor. Thank you.